file a countersuit alleging that uh, they, they, they haven't upheld the Constitution and, and done their duty to protect the border? Stay tuned. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. Stay tuned. This is going to get fun. Something like <laughs> this is going to get flat fun. <laughs> yes, sir. I'd like to hear you accused of the Second Amendment in general. I'm a staunch supporter of the Second Amendment. I actually went back in D.C. when Congresswoman Ann Kirkpatrick signed the Conceal and Carry on the Parks and then rushed to the NRA to get their support. I was there. And I asked them, don't take a stand in this first primary. Any candidate coming out of the Republican Party will have an A rating. The Congresswoman will have much, maybe better than a C. I'm a staunch believer in that Second Amendment. I'm also going to tell you I'm not a fan of Harry uh, Reid. <laughs> well, let's go further. I've actually said it. And the reason I've said it is he'll hold your bills up from the Second Amendment, but then he'll kill you in small business applications. That is part of 90% of the Second Amendment. You can't talk out of both sides of your mouth when you talk about the Second Amendment. Start counting your friends. I'm a staunch, I'm a very staunch Second Amendment. How about the Arizona laws? I like the Arizona laws. Keep them coming. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me give you a quick example. I don't know if you know what's going on. Pinal County is part of our district, okay? I don't know if you know that there's parts of our district that are not safe for you as citizens to go into. Do you know that there are assassinations occurring down in Pinal County? And our law enforcement officers have small pistols. They don't even have rifles. And yet they're going into war, and that's what it is, with a drug cartel that has automatic weapons and are very old. That's not a fair fight. Well, they got them. So it's time that we... Our forefathers thought this one out very carefully. That's why it's number two. <laughs> That's why it's number two. That's how important it is. Number two. Free people have to be able to defend themselves. Against their government. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> number one. That was the main reason for the amendment. It is. They, they, they had come from a situation where they weren't allowed to have weapons. Mm -hmm. But we'll never get even again because we will never have the weapons that our government has. I agree. And the biggest weapon there is, that's no, we're not going to take it. Well, it's, all there is it's, it's also the first one, and that is the pen is mightier than the sword, too. And it's about time you realize that, that first one. Editorial is freedom of speech. You're doing it right now. You should exercise that and never let that go. And I'll challenge you. I see a lot more younger kid people here. I see a lot of grandparents. I'll tell you what, I've got three kids. When I tell them something, it goes in one ear and out the other. <laughs> so what I've learned is I import my mom and dad here twice a year. And my mom and dad tell them something, and guess what it is? Guess what grandma and grandpa told me? <laughs> <laughs> Deja vu. <laughs> But you know, that's the principle of it. If you talk about education, it's about your involvement in this education process. Don't, tell, don't let a school board stop you. Seriously, it's about communication and being part. You know what, it's gonna take a little learning on, your stuff, on yourself. Because you know what, they don't speak the same language we do. But you know, it's fun. You know what? The thing to stop learning is a day out of checkout. Don't ever give your ability as a parent. Don't ever give your ability as a grandparent. Don't ever give your ability as a citizen away. You care. And that makes a difference. And you know what? These kids are begging. They're begging for that insight. This administration stole our youth. My challenge is you go get them back. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems in our society today is 